Turn it up. I am Weston from Designs Academy. Today what I wanted to do was a video over how to do my starry background that I use in most of my um, designs. Alright, so what we're gonna first what we're gonna do first is hit control Y. Once you have your composition open, uh, make sure to also have a camera. You can export those from Cinema 4D or make your own in After Effects. Alright, and make it black solid. This one's gonna be called background. Drag it to the bottom. Hit Control D twice to make two more. Hit enter and name the second to last one stars and the top one um, smoke. Like so. Alright, and on the stars we're gonna dra drag in trap code form. Onto that. Onto that. Um, and then grab particular, which is also by trap code. Which is also trap code product, I should say. Alright, so the first thing we're going to work on is the smoke, I mean the stars. This is really easy to do, just disperse and twist and put this up a lot. Like, and then, yeah, like 4,000 almost. Put the base form to the particle and make the particle size like 5. And then just hit this again. Just keep on sliding this. So eventually you get something like um, that. That'll work. All right. Now go into smoke, which is the particular layer here. All right. Maybe I get that mixed up. Particular, which is the smoke layer. Yeah, that sounds more right. Change the particles to seconds to 70. Emitter type to box. Um, this emitter size is gonna have to change drastically um, probably like three or four thousand depending on your camera basically just to fill the screen turn this off and make sure it's here too and then make sure that Z's a lot as well change this number. Some of these numbers will change depending on your intro. But as you can see, emission extra pre-run, make that full right here on the emission extras. Pre-run needs to be 100. Number size, okay. Um, next up, what is there? Oh yeah, under particles. Um, first thing you want to do is change the life to double your composition time. In my case, it's like about 11 or 12 seconds. So we get like 25 seconds so you can see it already filled the screen a lot <clears throat> and next thing we're going to want to do is grab the feathering and turn it up all the way just like that and then make this cloudlet just have to look so it's easier to see um cloudlet feather turn that up all the way um change this size right here All right, and just increase the size of these um, cloudlets until you can just get this kind of effect where there's a bunch of bumps, kind of thing. Um, once again, you may want to have to you may want to turn up the emitter size. <clears throat> My voice is very gone today. All right, next thing we're gonna want to do is make this a little bit bigger so I can see all of the options here. Right here in the size over life, we're gonna want to make we're gonna want to click on this one right here you can immediately see the difference opacity over life okay it's actually the bell curve just like that all right and then change this to um, in my case it's gonna be a green just a very light green like that um, where am I now oh up here under velocity turn that down to about 60 I believe it is and that makes it not move as fast and look more like smoke um, all right and then turn the opacity down to three okay, 
let's do six real quick and then let me turn up the size just get that kind of effect and then three I guess that, maybe even one one will probably look better mm, two it's all a matter of just trial and error make finding out what you think looks best Also keep in mind that everything looks better with um oh and then at make these stars bigger one second. Everything looks better once you apply your CC. And to do that just control alt Y like that and then put CC on it. Like that. We'll worry about that in a minute. Alright, so take your smoke and make it a little bit darker. Like that. And then make another adjustment layer and call it optical flares and then drag it below the CC. For the CC just grab the revision plugins RSMB for the smart motion blur, put it to 2. Maybe 2 point. Yeah, there we go 2.3. Looks good on mine. All right. Optical flares, just type in optical flares over here. No worry about this one in a minute, not this very second. Alright, so first of all, for this, we're going to want to also grab, um, besides the RSMB, grab Red Giant Color Suite Magic Bullet Looks. Put that on top, actually, because that would work better on top. That's a very provocative thing to say. Alright. About right here, so that way I have all the letters in and everything like that. Well, maybe a little bit more. Just about here, and that way you have all the letters in and everything like that, and all, there's all the brightness and everything shown. I had a video about how to do um, color corrections. And you should watch that if you want to know how to do this stuff. Because I'm just going to go through it really quickly. If you, yeah, if you don't know how to do this, you may want to check out that video. Um, let's see. Some diffusion for sure. that and then increase the size yep just like that so that it's just a little shine on the text um, green exposure just drag it like that right here um, turn it down more um, I don't know I'll say um a lot because I don't really know all the things I can do with this. Make sure you use your Vignet, that's one of your best friends during these kind of video thing during intros. Uh, curve is a big one as well as you can see yep just like that all right there's the CC for you as you can see the CC makes a huge difference like I said all right and then the optical flares turn that on put the render mode to over original chain go up to options um, right here in this little corner, click clear all. It's up here as well. Um, glow. Turn up the brightness a lot. 
change this to a green color if, or whatever color you're using. I'm using green. Drag it under here. Oh, and also control Y again. And then letterbox it. Hmm. Or here. Okay, do it like this. Just jaws. Here's how you do it. Just CC jaws and then change the height to zero. And completion to about 75. That. 75 is perfect in my opinion. Just make this a little bit greener. Just like that. All right. that all right <clears throat> and then turn this down again yeah you just gotta it's a matter of making everything look good because right now the smoke doesn't look very good not that low 1.8 optical flares and make that like a 200 and then this 40 all right yep that looks good and here, I'll render it out and show you guys the, uh, the finished effect. Ladies and gentlemen, and to sum it all up, here is the finished product of the video, of the intro. Um, I haven't, this is without adding all the effects like, um, CC, um, light, I don't even remember the name of my plugin, I mean of my effects. CC light burst, light burst 2.5. Yeah, and then, um, there's that and radio blur which is right here and that goes under another CC you make a new one that's like it's called burst I think as burst effect is what I call it um, and there's also um, some other things I usually do but anyways guys that sums up this video see you guys later goodbye